Welcome to my Gling.ai video editor tutorial. Here I'm going to show you the very quick way where you can upload a video and then have Gling do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to AI editing. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description and if you click that, you can actually try them for free. So instead of doing a lot of the heavy lifting yourself, let Gling do it utilizing AI. Let's begin. So first things first, what you want to do is drag your raw video file right here. As you can see, there's going to be a multitude of supported file extensions. You can always read those. So I I don't have to read them off. Allow me to get mine very quickly. And for this one, I just shot a quick video where I purposely messed up many times, used a lot of words where I was like, oh, and then stopped and then repeated and kept going. But it was just looking over at the uh, Gling pricing just to do one very quickly. I had done another one and it was like 18 minutes. So I just wanted to do that quick. And you can always add a script if needed, but this is going to be for better accuracy. And in my opinion, I think Gling is pretty good when it comes to creating captions. There might be a few words here and there that you might want to edit around, but I'm just going to leave it as is just to kind of showcase what it's going to look like in this tutorial. Let's click on continue. And so from here, this is what we get to choose from. So we can cut silences, which is remove silent moments from your video. Definitely want to do that. I don't know about you, but anytime I mess up, I'll stop. I'll probably wait about like three or four seconds and then I'll continue going. Obviously, you're probably familiar with that. If you do editing, you know, there's a big space that you need to edit. It's probably because there's a mess up there. So definitely cutting silences, bad takes. Absolutely. I can't tell you how many times I'll just repeat something four or five times. I even did that in this video just to like showcase how it removes those. There's also going to be jump cut zoom if you want to use those. Add zoom effect to jump cuts for smoother transitions. I think this is better like if you're doing in front of the camera work. Like this is gonna be a screen share, so I want everyone to see everything at once. I don't necessarily need to zoom in, so if you're more technical, if you're doing more of like in front of the camera type of thing, that'll probably work better for you. If you have a lot of audio noise in the background, like if someone's mowing the lawn and you wanna get rid of that, I tend to record when it's very quiet, but that isn't always the case, especially if you're a YouTuber yourself. You know that things come up, noises happen. If you wanna utilize that, just simply click there, but let's click on Enhance and Edit. And when it comes to this Gling AI video editor tutorial, I'll be back to you very quickly, although it seems like it's gonna be done very quickly. This isn't the longest video in the world, but when it is done, I will get back to you. And you'll notice right here, it will give you some tips, kind of like tutorials that you can utilize yourself. So be sure to at least check these out when your video is loading, when it's rendering, so that it can transcribe and you can edit it even more if needed. But that's my spiel on that. I'll get back to you with the tutorial when this is done. All right, and so here we are, and if you'll notice, it's great because there's a lot that's been cut out of this. Now, originally it was two minutes and 50 seconds. Now we have one minute and 44 seconds. If you look at this right here, I put, let's take a quick look at Gling, you know, pricing. I messed it up purposely, then I did it again. And this I put first and foremost, they come along with a free plan. I messed that up and then I went back to it and it just kept on going with, which is great. Great. So will you get up to, will you get up to, we get up to 10 hours. And like I previously said, once again, it's removing the multitudes of times where you mess up and then you keep going again, once again, but with this time, oh, well, it wasn't 70 hours. You get 30 hours. Okay. And you'll notice it keeps doing that. Were there any ums in here? I probably should have done a lot more when I did my review. There's a lot of them where there's like, uh, and, mm. And if you do enough videos, it's going to happen, even if you don't want to. And it goes and it automatically removes those. This is actually, <laughs> this is too good of an example because it pretty much got almost everything correct. There's one thing that it probably needs to change right here. And they added like the gling right here. So let's take a quick look at what we can do is go right here and we can do correct. Quick look at the gling.ai pricing plans apply. There we go, perfect. So you're gonna notice this is, all, you only need to correct this if you're gonna be using your captions and how you can do that. So let's go to enhance right here. So we do have smart captions. I'm gonna click this and just talk through it. It's gonna take a few seconds. This is gonna add the captions that'll be pretty big right here that when you go through and you hit play, it's gonna actually showcase. So this is good like forgetting gling.ai and not having it all <laughs> look like this, okay? Look at the gling.ai, like something like that. So it looks good, right? So that's, if you're gonna wanna use captions, then you'll wanna go through and edit that. If you're not using captions, and if it looks like that, you're gonna be fine, right? So once again, we have the jump cut zooms. Don't really need this for a lot of my screen shares like that I'm doing, but like I said, if your face is in front of the camera, you wanna do something like that. I'm just gonna click on it to show you what it looks like when it loads. 
Okay, so it says like, like it says zoom center to face, like there's no face here, right? It's a screen share, so like I'm not interested in that, but if you wanted to do that, you can do that. And of course, remo remove noise from audio. You notice how like I almost messed up there, kind of did, but this will take longer for larger files, but there wasn't any background noise. That's how you do it, of course. So this is the great thing about it. There's a lot of like button on, button off, okay? We have AI Assistant for title generator and chapter generator if needed. Also something tool is gonna be the pace. So you can set the pace, you can create an engaging feel by adjusting the silence length. So if you want it to be more, if you want it to be less, you can do that, it's gonna be up to you. It's gonna be a little bit harder for me to do because I have, I have to change my mic setting. I got a new computer and mic so that whenever I record, uh, I can't hear the sound come back, but you can, okay? Which makes it really weird. So like, I can't tell how long the pause is gonna be. Normally, if I wasn't recording, I can, but I'm just gonna play this for you. I'm gonna stop talking so you can hear me. I believe you should be able to hear me and see the captions at the same time. So let's play. So let's take a quick look at the Gling.ai pricing plan. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the Gling.ai pricing plans. That's what's that gonna be. And if you'll notice, so this was just, <laughs> I wish I could do more with the tutorial. Like it's just so fantastic how it went through and it took out all of that. And it's even better when it removes a lot of the ums and the uhs and the mm, you know, like all that type of things that, that are gonna just change for you. Because the fact of the matter is when you have longer videos, I imagine your videos are gonna be longer than three minutes. Maybe you're doing a short one, but the longer they get, the more chances of errors that are gonna be there. So this can swoop up and automatically take out all those mess ups that you've done. That's what I do. Like I said, whenever I mess up, I'll repeat it. And many times I'll do it like three or four times. It automatically cleans that up for you. Now there will be some times where there are a few words where you need to go in and delete them. So for example, I just wanna show you in case there is something that there have been times where you go through and there's like a few words. For example, when I start a video, I'll do like testing just to make sure that it works and I can see the micros, microphones lit up. And sometimes it'll keep that testing there. So let's say that was like just this right here. What you would do is you would highlight it and you would just click on the scissor right here, and that's just going to cut that specific part, as you'll notice. So that will remove it completely from there, and then it would just go with the media process per month. So you can also hit the undo button. Thank God there's an undo button, because if you went through and you like deleted it, it'd just be annoying to have to highlight it and go through and just undo it. But I would love to continue on, but like I said, this was almost too good of an example, but when it comes to the Gling.ai video editor, that's an overall good idea of what you can expect. Gling is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for you, and I think that just speaks volumes towards what it does. There will be a few things you have to go in there and change around, but for the most part, this can certainly save you a lot of time, especially if you're doing way, way more creative edits than me, like especially if your face is in front of the camera. And of course, last but not least is gonna be export, but I think you can handle that part. So that's going to conclude my Gling.ai video editor tutorial and kind of like a little bit of a demo and showcase when it comes to utilizing this software to edit your videos using AI. Hope you got some value out of this and if you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't gotten to check out Gling, I will leave the link down below where you can try it out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and happy AI video editing.